Gormia mm-hmm. food station. It's a five and one. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember. This is basically, it's almost like having a suitcase on your counter. Yeah. Kind of footprint. Yeah. So it's a little wide. Uh, it fits on a countertop, maybe rises, you know, about the high as this water bottle with the lid. So you're looking at probably eight, ten inches. Yeah. It's like a, it's almost like the the largest George Foreman yeah. size that, or, or maybe a, a, a wider crock pot. But not mm-hmm. as not as deep, kind of just flattened. Yeah, yeah. So it's a five and one, mm-hmm. which means it does five functions. Yeah, two of them were the most appealing to me. One being it's an air fryer. Yes. Now most air fryers we have tend to be the round cylinder. Yeah. Pull out the front, you know, mm-hmm. drop the stuff in. This one comes with a basket that you kind of load top down in. So you lift the lid. Mm-hmm. It's a glass lid mm-hmm. that you can see when things are. Uh, baking or air frying, mm-hmm. grilling. Um, I've spoiled a couple of the five mm-hmm. in one features there. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can take the lid up and you can actually remove it so you can wash that. It's dishwasher safe. Nice. The basket comes out, holds six quarts. And then the other option to put in there is like a grill plate. Yeah. So you can actually put something in there if you want to grill food. Mm. So it doesn't. Didn't feel like it was too big. Yeah. I took it home. I mean, it's kind of like an all-in-one printer yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. You know, set that down. Um, I kind of realized the differences between that and a traditional air fryer uh-huh. where, you know, at a hundred dollars, I think that's what this runs right now. Yeah. It, um, it's very good at kind of doing all these things, uh-huh. but in terms of like the digital display and the functions, features that sometimes you get with, a little bit of a higher end air fryer Mm -hmm. you don't quite get here okay in the more specifically um hey i'm heating up uh chicken or i'm doing something specific that you know french fries some of the more modern air fryers you can just kind of hit the french fry button and shut that and it knows the temperature and the time to do that sure here you kind of have to know a little bit dial in your settings a little Mm -hmm. better sure but that's really the only kind of drawback that I was I realized after a week or so I'm like I uh, kind of miss mm-hmm. being able to do that yeah a little more set it and forget it with a <coughs> uh, specialized piece of appliance yeah but as the five in one features we've been able to use probably three mm-hmm. four of them mm-hmm. we haven't done the dehydration yet okay um, but that is one of the other ones so this I'm looking at Target, which is where you can currently get that. You're looking at about 150 for this guy. Um, five features. This will do grilling, mm-hmm. air fry, bake, roast, and dehydrate. Okay. So we've kind of thrown a. I, I went home, yeah, sat on the counter, put it through its paces a little and bit, and we used it for probably three or four nights straight. Okay. And like the first night was we grilled salmon, and then we air fried. Um, some breaded shrimp mm-hmm. or, you know, we threw in some French fries, reheat. And so it works very well at all those. Mm-hmm. It will preheat mm-hmm. and then ask you to add the food. Okay. Whereas a lot of times with air fryers, you just put your food in and hit start. Hit start. Yeah. So that's something to kind of keep in mind, okay. but it will prompt you when it's warm enough. Okay. It will grill up to 510 degrees. Which, if you don't know what that means, it's really hot. Yeah. If you're, you know, we did salmon and you have to get it to 165 degrees inside. Mm -hmm. So we had it in there and you can watch it grill and it'll give you the grill marks and everything. It will sear that. Yeah. Uh, We stuck a meat thermometer in in there and found that, I mean, we cooked it evenly. Yeah. Has a technology, I forget what they call it, but it's designed to kind of heat evenly from all around. Uh huh. Um, is it so? This is supposed to be like a smokeless grill. How yeah. how did that work for you? It works pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I tried to do bacon. Uh huh. After and uh, I will tell you a little bit about that. The book does come with some recommendations for certain things. Okay. So I know bacon was in there. Yeah. But I thought if I make bacon in the oven. I'm usually putting it at like 425, 450, and I'm going to set it for 12, 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's not big enough to really make a full like cooking sheet Mm -hmm. of bacon. So Mm -hmm. I I laid like five strips in there, Mm -hmm. 
I had already cooked dinner with it and was working on it. And then it came up with an E5 air. Oh. So I looked it up, basically said that the inside had become a little bit too hot. Oh. And it says if it gets to like 700 degrees or so inside. So I'm not quite sure how it got that hot. Sure. And I don't know if it was because I had foil down to uh-huh. catch the grease. There is a tray that slides out. Okay. So if you're cooking. Like a grease tray. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If you're cooking food that is grilling or an air fryer. And sometimes, you know, if you throw like uh, pizza rolls in there, you're going to get the crumbs that fall mm-hmm. off. This will catch those. Mm-hmm. So you can pull the basket out, but you can also pull the tray out. Mm-hmm. And all of those are dishwasher safe. Nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool unit. Yeah. It does take up a decent amount of space, whereas we're kind of used to that round cylinder in the corner of our cabinet. Sure. We just kind of, you know, out of the way on our counter. Right. Here, it's kind of prominent, but we put it there deliberately to right. kind of kick the tires. Right. So we wanted to see how often we used it as opposed to the stove. Mm-hmm. And we did, uh, or the oven, I should say. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a great, pretty nice little uh, all-in-one device nice. for me. It has a whole range of kitchen products, yeah, and accessories. And I was excited to try this one out. And I think we've got another good one. Yeah. Um, there's a couple things that if you're like, oh, I kind of miss this about an air fryer. They have some amazing air fryers that sure. have all of those features. Sure. But if you're looking for something like, hey, I, you know, a lot of college kids. I don't know if they're allowed to yeah. have air fryers. Or if you're, or, you know, a smaller efficiency apartment or something. Yeah. You can kind of do a lot more with just one one device. Yeah. One if, appliance. If you have, uh, like, my dad, mm-hmm. somebody lives on their own, they can cook more than enough food in there. We did peppers and onions in there at the same time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're, you're flipping the sausages over and you're getting the grill marks. You're cooking the, you know, and it comes out nice. And you get very little of that smoke. Yeah. So there is on the lid, there's a hole. Yeah. That um, it allows heat and smoke to kind of escape, but it does not, nothing that I've done has made it to kind of pour out of there. Sure. It's sat next to the microwave and we have the vent. So we'll turn that on if yeah. we're cooking yep. to draw things. Yep. Never had to do that. Nice. So that, um, whatever technology they call that. Yeah. Seems to work so far. Uh, sound. The only other thing that I was wondering is sound wise, how loud is it when it's running? It's not too bad. Yeah. I noticed that depending on how it sat on my counter, once in a while it would like kick in like a higher gear, it would start to kind of like vibrate. Mm-hmm. But it because the counter, I can tell you, is not 100% flat. Sure. All I had to do was just kind of like move it and it stopped vibrating. Gotcha. But other than that, there's it's no louder than an air fryer. Yeah. It's, it's a nice, quiet kitchen appliance. Nice. So I, I scored this pretty well. I don't yeah. know the overall score here, but you can see I gave it fours uh, for pretty much setup, performance, price, warranty, build. Mm-hmm. I gave it a three and a half over features and functions. And I know that sounds a little different for something that's a five in one, mm-hmm. but I would have appreciated the display and maybe some shortcut buttons. Right. It is nice and easy to turn on grill and to say, Hey, I'm going to just set this to, you know, there's four grill settings and you'll see the temperature and you can just tap through those. Or if you sw- hit bake, you can just every five degrees and you can set your time. If you're cooking and you realize it's going to be another couple of minutes, you can hit arrow up and it'll add another two minutes. Mm-hmm. So it does have some of that capability. I might've appreciated a couple of preset options. Sure. Just for some, things that people tend to reheat fries or reheat uh, something or cooking chicken or just something where it just here's four presets. Yeah. Yeah. I don't expect it to be at that price point tied to an app or uh, connected to Google or something like that. Right. Uh, But Gourmia does make some products that do that. Yeah. If you're looking, they have a little bit more niche uh, type of things. So So your overall score is a 3.92. So it's real good. Yep. So I would definitely recommend it. I, I think that it's a good product, uh, easy to use, mm-hmm. easy to clean. It's a great uh, bachelor gift idea. Sure. You know I mean, we're beyond Christmas, the holiday gift giving. But if you have somebody who just got their first apartment or somebody that's moving out, this is the kind of thing that they will probably use a lot. 
Yeah. Especially if they don't have an air fryer and have it started to kind of add to their kitchen appliances. Nice. That's the Gourmia Food Station 5-in-1. Sweet. Mm-hmm.